Welcome, Welcome to the Keep It Cute Show. Hello. I'm Sabrina. And I'm Dakia. And today we are welcoming my girl, actress, performer, designer, renaissance woman, Miss Riley Knox. Hi. Thanks for making it. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. I'm excited too. <laughs> yes, so excited. yes, yes. I love Riley. I've been a follower, a fan, and a now client. a friend. Yeah, a client. client. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, for years now. And um, we wanted to bring you on just so we could talk about fashion. You know, yes. you guys know at the Keep It Cute show, we like to talk about everything that relates to you. Um, and we can't keep it cute without looking cute, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna talk a little bit about fashion and we have our resident expert, Ms. Riley Knox here, who is designer to the stars, honey. Yes. So if you don't know, you need to file, follow Riley Knox Couture because she has designed um, dresses for Coco Jones on season on the season of Bel Air. Um, who else? Candy Burris, all the Real Housewives, you know, during the confessionals, and she has become the reality TV show reunion gown guru. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got one coming out in a couple weeks too. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So, the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion looked just dropped. It's coming up soon, and you designed Ashley's dress. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I, um, it was funny because um, when she told me, when well, she told me a month in advance, and it's very rare that I have a long period of time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for some reason, I will get studios will call me and say, oh, we need, like, even the dress for Coco. They're mm -hmm. like, oh, we saw that dress on Ashley Darby. Can you make it mm -hmm. again? And I was like, no, I like don't even have that fabric. I was like, I have this color. They're like, yeah, can you send that in overnight to us? It's like in seven hours. Mm -hmm. So I made wow. those dress in seven hours. Wow. So, I, so I said to Ashley, I, said, I was like, thank you for giving me time mm -hmm. to, to make this dress, you know, because I usually only have, you know, a few days and I had a whole month. Um, actually, I had some time with yours too. Yeah, yeah. Too. So we but said I, never, I thought that was a that. short amount of time. I was like, dang, they only gave me a month. Oh, no, people give yeah. me a day sometimes. Wow. Yeah, depending on what it is, if it, especially for somebody like, a big VIP. It's like yeah. um, even with um, uh, Neo and Usher, th those things. Yes. Those, those are yeah. those took a like very short amount of time, mm -hmm. and luckily I had the time. Yeah. Um, Why am I but, not surprised? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 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 Ashley uh, said to me, she's like, the reunion theme is black, and I was like, if you look at my Instagram right now, the last like five dresses I've made, including for myself, mm -hmm. were all black. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, another black dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> But then I know with Ashley, like, she likes to show a little more skin, mm -hmm. so I can be a little more risky and make the whole dress sheer if I want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we did. Yeah. So it's a lot of bead work on that. Right. Yeah. How long did it take you to make hers? Uh, 300 hours, I think. Oh my gosh, Riley. Yeah. And I literally just turn on, I've learned that I have to turn on music and not the TV, because if something interesting is on TV, I'm going to turn around and look at it. Yeah. So I turn on the music and I just, like, get into the zone and I'm yeah. mm -hmm. sitting there one by one. I have also learned that I make my best art when I'm ugly. <laughs> so I have never seen that happen. Yeah. Like, no, that I'm happen? serious. When I have like no makeup, uh, no hair, yeah. like I have hair up in the front, yeah. like yeah. In, stay in my robe. Yeah. Don't get dressed for the day. Oh, and wow. I will, otherwise, I will for some reason, I just don't work as well as I... Is it distracting? I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I, I, but I've learned that if I don't get dressed for the day, then I won't go and do other things. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. And so I will focus on yeah. dress. But I, I can be a procrastinator because sometimes I just don't really feel it. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I need to like feel it in order yeah. for me to make it. Yeah. And that's one of my questions is like, where do you draw inspiration from with your design? Everywhere. Everywhere? Every, everywhere. Okay. I have a file in my phone um, that I call, I have several files on my phone that are all um, different types of inspiration. I have mm -hmm. like uh, fashion inspiration, design inspiration, which is like interior design because mm -hmm. I used to be an interior designer, um, and also hair inspiration. Mm -hmm. So it's every hairstyle that I've ever loved that mm -hmm. I screenshot and saved into my phone. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing, oh, and I also have a file that's all like Beyonce's costume. Okay. Every, every, every costume she's ever worn, yeah. every angle of it that I've been fond of the costume. Wow. Yeah. In case I need to replicate it. So I have all of those. And so I have so much inspiration there. But I also sometimes get inspiration from like movies and like sci-fi movies uh -huh. or say like 
period movies like, oh, from like I love the 1800s the like, yeah. I, and I'm, I really love like old Hollywood like I love yes. the 50s I love you know the Gilded Age but I also glam. love mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. I could totally see the sci-fi and the the old Hollywood glam in your style I, I love, love old Hollywood I love one of my favorites was Marlena Dietrich no like, she did okay. a lot of menswear yeah uh, okay. so for me personally I like I'm wearing well, menswear right yeah, now right. Right. Yeah. Me. but um she was she would do the the glamour with all the gowns but she also would you know dress in, in you know suit. what she suit. would call drag yeah basically. yeah she would dress in like a man but like tailored for her yeah. Yeah. yeah i really want to get into the actual gowns that you've made yeah. but before that i want to kind of rewind a little okay. bit i want to take it back like what got you into being a creative artist like where are you from tell us about you like how did this whole journey end so art? I learned to paint and draw when I was around two or three. Mm -hmm. And the problem with that is, well, it was great mm -hmm. uh, because they were, everybody was like, oh my God, this kid is like yeah. amazing. Prodigy, but yeah. the problem with that is, is because everybody's like, this is a child genius. And mm -hmm. so all this weight was put on me uh, from pressure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because I could paint anything, I could draw, I could sing, I could dance, I could do all these things creatively and for at such a young age. Mm -hmm. And I was terrible at math. I was terrible at re I was terrible at anything that didn't involve art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so um, I excelled in, in in art. I could, I mean, it was I would blow people away with this. Yeah. Um, so it, so the problem with me as a kid is people would say, so what do you want to be when you grow up? And for me, I I didn't. I was just like, uh, like I, I want to be everything. I want to yeah. do everything. Yeah. And it, you know, when you're back then, I think now it's different. But back then, people didn't just tell kids they could be one thing. It's either, oh, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be a doctor, mm -hmm. I want to be a firefighter, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but it was never like, oh, I want to be an entertainer or an actress, mm -hmm. or clothing designer, I want to be an interior designer, makeup artist, yeah. all those things. For me, my love is not just fashion, it's not just, you know, performing, it's not, it's just art. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love art. I, I'm, I study art. Like, mm -hmm. I'm an art historian. I know a lot about artists from back in the day, all those things, Michelangelo, yeah. all the, like, my favorite place in the world mm -hmm. is the Louvre. Oh, and pair. absolutely. And so yeah. for me, and I think there's, and until recently, because I did put something recently on Instagram, people didn't even know that I could draw and paint. I'm like, this is where it started. Yeah. Oh, like, my I gosh. literally, yeah. like, my paintings are, look, look like photographs. Oh, wow. When I was a kid, they, they looked like that. Yeah. And so people would, like, commission me to mm -hmm. uh, draw paintings for them yeah. or draw do drawings for them. I also, at 12 years old, um, I used to do calligraphy. Wow. So I would make wedding gift stations. So beautiful. Like yeah. all by hand. Oh my gosh. Like the shower should have hired you for that. And, but, and, but I went to your house. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I went to your house and I saw this one painting that you have in your living room. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. You know, and I already did the that? living room. So now my oh, sister has it. Okay. So my sister had But I just did a, a new painting that, it, that I'm working. I'm doing two new paintings that I'm working on right now. Mm -hmm. Art has always. So as a kid, I was, I was abused as a kid. And so mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. art was always my escape. I was very different as a kid. Yeah. Um, and so for me, art was the place that I went to when I had no, like art was my best friend. Mm -hmm. So I have recently discovered that I need to go back to the basics. Mm -hmm. When I am feeling like weird or not, like I feel like I'm getting further away from myself. Yeah. I go back to what I, what got me through my childhood. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. was art. Yeah. Um, oh, and what I was gonna say also, I designed my first kitchen at 16 years old. Wow. Yeah. So, so I, it's always been like art and architecture was always nice. my first love. Mm -hmm. um, and then I came to DC when I was 19 years old and I, my first job in DC was working in men's furnishings at Nordstrom, mm -hmm. Pentagon City. Pentagon City. I was selling <laughs> ties yeah. and suits and it was so boring. Yeah. And um, I, got scouted by some makeup artists mm. to uh they were like oh like you should do this and what happened was while i was in orientation actually at um in Nor at nordstrom i was there with a girl who was in the makeup department she's like she's like you're fabulous like you can draw you do all this stuff she's like why don't you do makeup and i was just like uh, I, don't, I don't know yeah and so she went and told um some people that were looking for a makeup artist 
um, at Macy's, basically, at Prescriptive's. And they came in to Nordstrom while to sell and ties looking for me. Oh, and, um, and I was like, no, 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 no. And my mom at the time, she was just like, oh, you want to work at Nordstrom, not Macy's. Like, you want to work at Nordstrom, yeah. right? And so I was like, oh, no, I don't want to go work at Macy's. I, gotta, I don't, you know, whatever. And then I got through one anniversary sell and I was like, oh, I'm yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they're like, well, you already know what to do because makeup is basically shade, like painting and all that stuff. They saw my sketchbook and they were, they hired me. And then, um, so the thing is, is I had to lie about my age or just not even tell people my age because then I lose credibility. I was 19 years old and I was Mm -hmm. doing makeup for like 40 and 50 year olds and Mm -hmm. and selling them makeup and skincare and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and while simultaneously, um, I had started dating someone, this guy who took me to a club and I saw all these performers and I was so like enamored by them, especially because I was in makeup mm-hmm. and their makeup was incredible. Mm-hmm. And so he would, he knew all of them and he would take me backstage and I would sit in the corner and just stare at all of them. Like mm-hmm. I was, first of all, I was too young to be in that club. <laughs> I was not old enough. Not 21 yet. Yeah. I got him because I knew him. And then they all said to me, they're like, you want to do this, don't you? And I was just like, um, no. I was really shy mm-hmm. and obviously I'm not shy now. No. But, but, but I was really shy and so they, they were like, they were like, you want to do this, don't you? And I was just like, no, 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 I don't. Yeah. And they were like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring, bring a wig and a dress and a number, like get prepared a number, yeah. Yeah, come do this on Sunday. And I was so nervous and I prepared all week and I got out on stage and I still have a picture. I've never released this picture because I, I look terrible, but uh, I got out on stage and I still have a picture of everyone backstage clutching their pearls, like literally, because they could not believe this little shy kid who was freaking them out yeah. from staring at them backstage, <laughs> looking like on stage, like just uninhibited. Yeah. My first song was like a Janet Jackson song from her, like uh, Rebella Rebel. Okay. It was called it's What About. about. Yeah, so it's about domestic oh. violence. Oh, yes. So it was really theatrical, and they could not believe oh. this. And this was in 2000. So it was a deep performance. Mm-hmm. It yeah. was. Okay. I, I did all this and they mm-hmm. were just like, whoa, where did that come from? Mm-hmm. And then they, they were like, you want to do this skin, don't you? I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that song is intense. I yeah. performed that in yeah. high college yeah. one time. So, yeah. so, so that was in 2000. And then 2003, Beyonce came out with Crazy Love. Ooh. And the rest is history. Yeah. The rest is history. Yeah. An amazing Beyonce performer. Recognized by Beyonce herself. Yeah. 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 Absolutely amazing. And so then you transitioned from performer mm-hmm. to designer. Okay, yeah. so that that was definitely recent. I mean, that happened in 2000, in 20, 2020, yeah, during the pandemic. Um, I had been making everything that I ever wore on stage from the very beginning. Mm-hmm. Everything I wore, I said, now, granted, some of it was hideous. <laughs> <laughs> but, and that's how I learned. Yeah. Like, it was, my first dress was made with stitch witchery, you know, that iron on tape. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, yeah. 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 And it was a stretch dress. So yeah. when I put it on, it stretched oh. and popped and came off. Um, oh, but yeah. I learned from making a lot of ugly things. And then I started replicating, when I started doing Beyonce, I started replicating costumes that she wore. Um, and then I think the first time I went viral was uh, when I replicated her pregnant uh, with this chair that went back at the mm-hmm. Grammys. Mm-hmm. I found a way to get the chair to move back. Uh, and then, um, so it went viral there. So the thing is, in the beginning, there was a social media when I first started performing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Social media got me recognition worldwide. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's when I started going viral for these performances. And then, um, you know, I had such a big year in 2019. I won an interview video record with Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. And then, um, I made history uh, in the NBA in 2020 on March 6th, and then March 11th had a sold out concert, and March 13th, the world came to a stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, um, my best friend, who was Monique Samuels, from, mm-hmm. she was on Real Housewives of Potomac. Yeah, she, needed, mm-hmm. she needed a yellow dress for the reunion. Mm-hmm. And I simply said to her, I was like, Where are you going to find a yellow dress in November? For? She was like, I, mean, I don't know. She was like, her sister was like, you should do it. And mm-hmm. I was like, uh, no, mm-hmm. I don't make clothes for other people. Yeah. Like, and here's the funny thing. In meet and greets, people would, like fans would always come up to me and say, who makes your costumes? And I would say, oh, I make, do you make things for other people? Like, oh my God, yeah. would you sell your costumes? And I was just like, no, I don't have time to do this. I'm like right. touring, I'm doing all this stuff. And at one point I was performing like 18 times in three days every single weekend. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so I didn't have time, I would be burnt out. Yeah. So, 
I didn't have time to. And so when Monique asked me to make this dress, I was like, no. I initially said no like several times. Mm -hmm. And then finally I was like, well, if I was going to do it, this is what I would do. <laughs> Hypothetically. Yeah. yeah. And she's like, okay, well, yeah, let's do Sounds that. Good. Yeah, like, yeah. No, I didn't do it. <laughs> so I ended up doing it. The dress had like 27,000 Swarovski crystals on it. Mm -hmm. um, and the dress went <laughs> viral. Kind of I know, yeah. All by hand, one yeah. by one, like yeah. two weeks. And so um, the dress, she said to me, even before, she looked like, this dress is going to go viral. Like, yeah. you better get ready. Like, you yeah. better get your cards ready, get your, mm -hmm. like, what, all online. And so the day the dress premiered online, it went viral, but I immediately went to the bank and started Riley Knox Couture because mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I guess I have nothing but time. I didn't perform for 20 months mm -hmm. wow. and it's killing me. Yeah. Like I, I, I went through a, a, a terrible mental health thing with yeah. not because I had been performing for at that point, I think about 18 years yeah. and I had never been off of stage for longer than a month. And all the reason for that was when I broke my back yeah. mm -hmm. and like I've never had a long period of time where I did perform, and I was like, "Are we ever going to be able yeah, to yeah. drastic shift in your lifestyle?" lifestyle. Yeah, it's a drastic we didn't know what was right. going to happen. We, we did was not. Like, we did not want to concerts, so I was like, "Okay, I guess this is the new thing. I'm never going to perform again." Yeah. So, um, so I did the dress for her, and then um, after you know, I I announced rather than I was couture. Um, then I had several other Bravo celebrities ask mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was Toya Bush and um, Dr. Dr. Simone, Simone from, mm -hmm. from Married to Medicine. From Married to Medicine, yeah, yeah, yeah. their dress. Uh, and so basically, in the course of six months of having Riley Knox Couture, I had over 27 looks on TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was moving too fast. Yeah. <laughs> One, it was time for me to, like, the world opened back up and it was time for me to get back on yeah. stage. So I had to put mm -hmm. it on pause. And then it was also just me. Yeah. You know, it was just me. And and I think people thought because of of um, Monique's dress, the way it looked, I think people thought that I had a whole like yeah, 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 yeah. people and yeah. all that stuff. And then I got all these, like, um, these uh, stylists tending me up like, Oh, like we want to do. We want to pull some of your stuff, and I'm like, there's nothing to pull. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. these costumes. Yeah, yeah. And so that's kind of how it happened. So in addition to those, you also did Drew Sedora's. I did reunion dress. Yeah. Um, you did um some confessionals for Candy and Karen, Candy Burris in Atlanta, and mm -hmm. Karen Huber in Atlanta, um, a Potomac. Yep. And you did my reunion I dress. Did. We're ready to love this <laughs> Yes. I did, I did. The girls are sitting up real nice. So what is your process for designing a reunion gown as compared to maybe some of the other looks that you do? Well, the biggest thing with reunion gowns is it has to not only... Like, okay, if you were just going to an event, the dress needs to look good for, like, you know, your pictures and right. whatever. Mm -hmm. Standing. But this is, right, right, standing. And this is on TV. But it also has to sit well. Yeah. And I always battle with clients because if the dress has a slit in it, I'm always like, what side do you want the slit on? And they don't know which side they're sitting on until like maybe like mm -hmm. a few days before the reunion. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know. Right. Yeah. So we got yeah. Right. And this just happens with yeah. Ashley's dress mm -hmm. also. And I noticed that she's sitting on the side opposite um, of the split. Funny thing with Monique's dress is her split was in the middle because oh. of the way the fabric was and the design oh. on the fabric. I cut... Like, we kept saying, like, what side do we want? I said, let's just put it in the middle. Does that mm -hmm. make it easier, it being in the middle? It did. Okay, okay. It did. But then I ended up making a reading gown for her for um, Love and Marriage, the first season. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, it had a train on it. And it's like, okay, well, what do we do? You know? Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the first dress didn't have a train on it. And so it has to look good on TV. I'm good with making things look good on stage. Mm -hmm. I come from a costume background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of bling, a lot of yeah. whatever. Um, I did do a dress for um, a Latrice from uh, Bell Collective, mm -hmm. and that had no bling on it. Oh, and that was probably the first reunion dress I made that had no bling, and I was most mm -hmm. simple. It was also black, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. um, and it was very different. So it was kind of a challenge to give a black dress with no bling <gasps> camera appeal. Yeah. yeah, you know. So there's a lot of things to take into account. Um, not everything looks good sitting down, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not everything looks good sitting down, so I have to always take that into account. I'm one of those people that I don't like people having to figure out the right undergarment, so I just build a, undergarments into everything. Lifesaver. Oh my gosh, she had everything. Had oh wow. Yeah. And, and it's it snaps. Yeah, so oh, Ashley's cool. dress, this recent dress, um, 
it looks like her dress is completely sheer. It actually has a full corset in it. Like I snatched her. Oh, Because wow. it actually doesn't have a, a, a she's top heavy. Okay. Now. And so she, so I, I, I was, I snapped. And it's so funny. It's yeah. so funny because every client I have says, I don't want to breathe. Yeah. I'm like, I said, that's her. He said, that's her. Hey, 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 you from Potomac. She's like, I don't want, I'm in a course of her. She's like, I, I don't care about breathing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm like, <laughs> but for hours, hours, you know how long those reunions are. Too. But I'm almost snatched. Yeah, I say that, but I do understand because yeah. on stage, I, I'm like, I want to look as snatched as possible. Right. Too, but I gotta mm -hmm. dance on, you know, yeah. just sitting yeah. down. So, so that's the things to take into account on when you're making a dress for TV for a reunion dress. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. And is it different? Than, it's different than red carpet because you've done a lot of red carpet. Stuff it too. did. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I've done a lot of red carpet also, and like with T.S. Madison, mm -hmm. she came with ideas already. You done uh, several for her. I yeah. have. I did some for her that people haven't seen yet. Also, oh. but um, I did the Emmys for her. She won an Emmy with RuPaul's Drag Race, mm -hmm. and then I also did. The first I did with her was MTV Music Award. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the first time that people realized that I could really do plus. Size. And I said before, I was like, I do, I dress right. like everything's yeah. messed up. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I, you have to fit into my clothes. Right. My clothes have to fit you. Right. So, oh, I yeah. love that one. That was one that was drapey, right? Yeah. Is that the one that was uh, drapey? Which one? The Emmys? The, no, the, the video. The that was the silver one. The, yeah, kind of yes. draped on the in, in the middle. Yes, and mm -hmm. because she was, um, because she was on Beyonce's song Cozy, uh, the silver was, was oh, so it's like let's make the silver and I also you know she's she's very voluptuous you mm -hmm. know and her measurements are very specific mm -hmm. and so her I wanted people to see that just because you're you know you got these big boobs they need to sit up mm -hmm. like you know, I want to do the, all of that mm -hmm. yeah so about so what you you've designed so many gowns so mm -hmm. yeah. what are the ones that you are particularly proud of that like really stand out like you know, this is the one that I'm super proud of because of X, Y, Z. So you're speaking your favorite child. <laughs> and you know what's really funny? Okay, so here's the thing. I make art and it goes off into the world and I sometimes forget about it. Mm -hmm. um, for uh, Love and Marriage DC, the first season, I made everything that Monique wore. Everything. Mm -hmm. Everything, where, no matter where she was, even if she was just going to lunch. Oh, wow. I made every oh, single cool. thing. And and she said to me, she's like, I'm gonna put you on retainer as my best friend. Right? Yeah, yeah. And so, so that's so mm -hmm. everybody knows, even yeah. my friends pay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, she's like, I wanna put you on retainer because I wanna wear every single thing. I wanna always have you write on couture on. I was like, okay, this is great for me. So, yes. So cool. yeah. So she she recently moved and mm -hmm. she was like, what am I gonna do with all these clothes? She's like, I, I have a dream. It and I, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen yes, soon. Let's hear, let's hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to have, I'm going to do an exhibit of mm -hmm. basically every, I'm going to do a fashion show, oh. but I also want to do an exhibit of all my artwork and then most of the gowns that I made. Yeah. So she gave me back everything. Oh. So when she gave it back, I was like, I don't even remember making this. Yeah. <laughs> I made this. I was like, oh. oh, I did make this. I was mm -hmm. like, yeah. and all this stuff had my tags on it. And I'm like, and she gave me a, she, a tub full of all her stuff. And I was like, what? So I, for, I forget about a lot wow, of things. Okay. Because I don't really go back on my social media and look at them. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I don't know what left. Do you have one that's been the most difficult? Uh, most difficult. Let me think. And however you find that. <laughs> I mean, some of the most difficult were things I made for myself that were replicas of Beyonce. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my comeback costume, which was the costume I made right after I broke my back. Um, and it was a replica of something she wore on the On The Run 2 tour. And that was, it was Balmain, and it was all pearls and beads and stones. Mm -hmm. I also wore it in Taylor Swift's video for you oh, yeah. to calm down. Okay. Um, I will never wear it again. Um, <laughs> I, I wore it on Watch What Happens Live. I've worn it a few times. Yeah. On Watch What Happens Live also. It is probably about 20 pounds. <gasps> um, it's difficult to wear and perform in, but it's also, I mean, I made it with a broken back. Wow. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. and, and I knew I was going to go back on the stage because I, I mean, I was scared at first, but then once I realized, okay, I'm going to get past this. Yeah. So I was sitting there in a back brace, you know, putting all these beads and stones and doing it all by hand. Mm -hmm. um, and I will also say Ashley's new dress, um, none of that was made with a machine. Mm -hmm. It was all made by hand. Wow. So I yeah. didn't sit with the, the base of the dress. I didn't, mm -hmm. none of it. So that's probably, 
But I feel more proud about those things as opposed to things that took me mm-hmm. like were really fast. Mm-hmm. When there's a lot of stones, a lot of bees. Even though mm-hmm. your dress, there's a lot of stones. And we start off with feathers on your dress. Yes, yes. We start with feathers. I changed she changed her mind. Yeah, she changed her mind. And then yeah. we took all the feathers off. Well, I cut them down. Then we yeah. took off. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then I, I put all the stones. Mm-hmm. And so I like... I like those moments yeah. mm-hmm. because there's a story behind them as opposed to things that yeah. I make very fast. Yeah, for me, I got uh, intimidated by the comments and I was yeah. like, okay, you know, let's not do the feathers. Yeah, let's not do the feathers because they were just talking about the other yeah. yeah. like, all right, yeah. And I got a taste of that recently uh, because the picture they chose for Ashley's dress, yeah. people were like, oh my God, like this, they, the, the angle was terrible. Yeah. And then they saw all the other pictures and they were like, but it was already on Fashion Bomb Daily. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they saw the other angles, they're like, oh, Wow, this is yeah. amazing. Mm-hmm. And it was like, okay, you know. Yeah. I, and, and Monique said to me recently, um, she was just like, oh, I'm so sorry that, like, you know, you get a bad review. I said, I'm not mad. Like, they love you one day, they hate you the other day. Yeah. Like, Both yeah. days I got paid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter. Right, yeah. right, right. I always <laughs> say, like, you know, one day you might um, throw water on me, some days you might throw dirt. Yeah. It's some, but it's all a garden. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's all a garden. Yeah. 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 It is award season. Yes. yes. It is award season right now. So we've seen a lot of looks on the red carpet and all these different awards so i thought it would be nice if we kind of take a look at some of your favorite red carpet dresses and then tell what you like about it and then how can we implement some of that great style in our everyday life okay absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah. all right so what do you want to start with i would like to start with cynthia revo okay all right. um in this leather uh colored le- like i love leather went like i love black leather yeah because you would expect it to be in black but this yeah. is unexpected mm-hmm. and the fact that this looks this if i didn't tell like the way it's draped and the way that it's gathered it's something new yeah it's not Different. your typical oscar's dress yeah it's not your typical you you don't expect to see leather you don't expect and if you saw I this from the green. back mm-hmm. yes. if you saw this from the back it almost looked like an amphibian it was really cool like, really? Scale, wow. almost like scales it just fit her so perfectly. Mm-hmm. It's very futuristic in my in my mind. Like, and it goes yeah, with her like yeah. her shape head and, yeah. and, and yeah. the 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 jewelry mm-hmm. on your ear. I just love it. And I love that it's referential to uh, the Wiz. You know, mm-hmm. she, well, she's getting ready to do. She's in Wicked. Yes. And she's playing the Wicked Witch. Yeah, she's and green so, in there. She's yeah. green. And when she was on stage with Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande wore pink. And she, yeah, like they're in the movie, and, and then she's referencing green. the green. Yeah. It was it was incredible because you j- it's just unexpected. You expect sparkly gowns. You do, yes, yeah, do, and it's a leather. leather. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. 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 So how can we, uh, us everyday girls, how can we kind of incorporate this style? Listen, I I'm I love leather. Mm-hmm. I almost wore leather today, mm-hmm. but I I tend to get hot really easy. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's um, the drawback. And we're about to be kind of out of the season of leather. Yeah. Uh, but it's an unexpected leather. So when you're wearing leather, don't always go for just a black leather. Yeah. You know, think of greens, think of tans, okay. like the even my favorite leather, which is a burgundy leather. Yeah, oh, like a wine. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like a real low type. Love, love, love that. Mm-hmm. And and I mean, honestly, if she took this you could actually wear this. If you chop the 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 it to like oh, knee length, you little could wear dress. this. Yes, mm-hmm. you can wear you can wear something like that. Because it was just like a spaghetti strap dress and then you know, oh. like a jacket on top. Oh, it was. So, yeah, okay, it's a no, jacket it's on top. It. Okay. Yeah, it's like a little shrug on top. Yeah, it's really nice. Louis mm-hmm. yeah. Vuitton dress. I love that. I love it's that. So beautiful. Yes. All right, staying in the Oscars. What's another Oscar favorite? Loved America Ferrera. Okay. Mm-hmm. America Ferrera. Um, she uh, is. Oh, I I met her and, and worked with her um, a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, not for fashion. It was like hair makeup. But mm-hmm. this dress I love because. It snatched her in a way that we've never seen before. Yes. Yes. And, and this dress shows off her shape. Yeah. And if you remember Beyonce's dress, the silver dress that she wore to the premiere of the Renaissance movie. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. This is the same style of dress. It just Beyonce's was strapless. Oh. She wore the the, the oh, yeah. I didn't even know it's, the same, it's basically the same dress. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Same dress. And I love that it's pink. She's in the Barbie movie. And it's chainmail. Ooh, oh, I didn't even realize oh, that. It's chainmail. Okay. It's a specific, I forgot what it's called, but it's a specific type of chainmail that Versace owns. Okay. Um, it's just like a regular chainmail. Like chain um, chainmail can be a little flimsy. It's easy to break. Okay. But this is, this is a specific type that they've made for years. They've made it for so many people. They've done chainmail. Um, but this dress flows like you didn't even know it was changing. Wow. And it has yeah, a like built-in corset that just key. snatches you. Yeah. Who needs the ways? Everybody loves snatches. Mm-hmm. We've seen it before. Mm-hmm. I love it because she, you know, she wore it with the bob and mm-hmm. shorter hair. 
It just, I love that it just was so unexpected for her. Yeah. And it's something we've never seen on her. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. How can we use it? It kind of speaks for itself. Like, she didn't even put a lot of jewelry on it, if you've noticed that. She just kind of like the... Yeah. Sometimes less yeah. is more. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you don't that. need it. And yeah. I think sometimes that that's where it goes wrong is in the styling. Yeah. Somebody mm-hmm. puts on a giant necklace with this super sparkly dress or somebody mm-hmm. puts on these big earrings and the necklace and the bracelet and the... Yeah. And, and mm-hmm. it's just, it tends to be like way yeah. too much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. So you were you were asking how can we implement this? Yeah. Yes. How can we wear chain mail? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe well, not if you want yeah. to. You listen. They have those. The, those are coming back. Like the Y two K, the chain mail tops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Little, those yeah. are back in the little yes. scoop tops. Those mm-hmm. are are back in. Um, this color pink, uh, is really pretty on her too. But I'm like a pink girl. Girl. I love pink. She yeah. loves. I'm green. And it's funny. You got your pink on. But I'm here. obsessed with pink. And I'm, I'm obsessed yes, with green. My dress was pink. pink. It yeah. was. You know, and, and at that time I made a bunch of pink dresses yeah, there too. Yeah. Um, it is a color that you will rarely see me wear. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. On stage, I, I wear more color than any other time in my life. Mm-hmm. I wear black all the time. I wear black almost every yeah. single day. Same. Yeah. Um, it's, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. I was yeah. a Mac makeup artist for a long time. We were black and you had yeah. black. And then yeah. when I was no longer makeup artist, I was like, oh, I can wear color. Yeah. You're now, still wearing black. I mean, yeah. I did for a while, and then, yeah, I tend. If it's a special event, I try not to. Yeah. Like it wasn't my birthday or so, or, yeah. or and I did wear pink uh, to the VMAs when one when one of the mm-hmm. VMAs. Mm-hmm. So I will say that I typically feel hate pink. Yeah, I do. I typically hate pink only Same. because I don't know. My sister's favorite color is pink, and all she at like her house was all everything was pink, and mm-hmm. I just saw pink all the time. And there's one else like that. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no. Right now, like no, no, no. My sister's favorite color yeah. was also like shocking hot pink. Oh okay. okay. yeah. I love blush girl. I love it. Yes. Blush is great. Blush yeah. is great. Mm-hmm. This is really why I wear this. Blush is a yeah. color that anybody can wear. Exactly. I do love that about mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. 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 And my bridesmaids' colors. The dresses were blush, mm-hmm. and she was yeah. a bridesmaid. It looks good on most skin tones. It doesn't really wash people out. Right. And also, if you have darker skin. It, it looks good on yeah. um, some darker skin too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right. So who's the next one? The next one I want to talk about is Kendall Jenner. Okay. 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 I'm going to skip to Kendall Jenner. Um, she's in Mason Margiela. Yeah. If you saw this dress on the runway, the models, uh, this was the one that Pat McGrath did the, the makeup for. It was all oh, the, the porcelain dolls. dolls. Yeah, yeah. The, the shiny skin. Yeah. And then they also wore like these padding on their hips. These like latex mm. hips that made them look like super voluptuous. Kendall didn't wear the hips, right. uh, but this, you, I obviously mm-hmm. love sheer and lace black. Yeah, I like. Mm-hmm. I, As you wear some I sheer, like, yeah, black I, black black. I mean, there's a reason I have these gloves on right now. Mm-hmm. But but because my nails are done. Yeah, that's, my, that's also a little hack for you. If your nails are done, you see. Yes, that's gloves. my hack. Okay, I can't oh, I'm add that later. Okay, I, yeah, back. I really can't wear wear. Nails a lot anymore mm-hmm. because I'm always sewing or painting right. or making right. something. So yeah. it's like, okay, just wear gloves if I have to do something. Oh, so genius. Mm-hmm. Well, we're about to be out of season of gloves, so I'm going to have to do with nails. <laughs> but but um, I love this dress on Kendall because I just, I love the shape of it, the yeah. sleeveless, Me where too. The, the cap is there. Mm-hmm. I love the visible corset underneath. Oh, yes. Um, and there's a lot of references here uh, because that Mason Margell, I mean, that, excuse me, that, yeah, the Mason Margell show. Um, there was like references to um, merkins, and if you don't know what a merkin is, mm. go Google it. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Oh but it's ba- oh, ba- no. let's just say it's basically a wig for down there that they used to oh. use back in the day. That's I, mean, a merkin. We I like that. I like that okay. stripe. That well, they used to have to use it in movies because you couldn't just show. Got it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. So, so basically, that strip of fabric there was mm-hmm. kind of a reference to it. Oh. oh. Yeah. So it's basically there. But I just love lace black. That mm-hmm. I, I will never not love a lace black or sheer black dress. Obviously, I just made a sheer black dress for Ashley. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So there's that. Yeah, and yeah. so I, that's why I love Kindles. And it just the corset. I love anything corseted. Mm-hmm. I love. I do. I I will build a corset into everything, even mm-hmm. if it doesn't require. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> just love. I will wear one every day. Put this belly in because you I know what. <laughs> <laughs> And you yeah, that's right. 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 I should have put on two. Yeah. So, so mm-hmm. there's that. I, I, I just love this on Kendall. Yeah. yeah. So, what would be your recommendation for incorporating something like this? Easy. Sheer. Uh, well, right now we're going into to summer, so this yeah. is perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, sheer. Even if you're putting a sheer, uh, a solid underlay underneath it, mm-hmm. um, sheer black, anything, whether it be. And I just got into 
Um, this probably will be out of season soon, but it's a sheer black pantyhose. They're back. Yes. yes. I love sheer black pantyhose. Mm -hmm. Like I, I love them. Mm -hmm. I've like recently been wearing them to events. And I'm like, ah, oh, why? Why do these take so long? I love the one with the like the stick. The, the seam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so sexy. Yeah, that's those so are, sexy. Those are, those are, yeah. those are classic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and I uh, and I mean I've even like these are actually the gloves that I put Ashley in. Oh wow. Yeah, I just stoned them on on her. So okay. I, like I love a sheer black glove. I have sheer black black gloves. I sheer yes. sheer black tops. Yeah. Sheer black anything. I, I'll never yeah. get enough of it. And it doesn't go out of style. It does not go out of style. It does not. It's not a classic. It does mm -hmm. not. No, it yeah. Not. Okay, who's next? The yeah. queen the of queen. fashion, Zendaya. Oh yes. my gosh, I love her. Yes. Even when she's wrong, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> and if that's wrong, I don't want to be right. It's exactly. just, she just, she is a method dresser. Yes. She is, it's, it's a new character every time she it dress. It is. Mm -hmm. I live, I live for Zendaya. I live for this dress because it's it's an Armani Privé, but it's it's corseted. Um, it's basically like one piece, like the corset, and then the drape on top. Yeah. Of it. Okay. And, and mm -hmm. you can't really tell in this picture, but that fabric is. It's made of like I've had this fabric. I've used this fabric. In fact, I have a costume made of this fabric. Um, it's the costume. Do you remember when Beyonce uh, performed at um, the Super Bowl? And her first dress um, was she ripped. The first look was she had like a jacket and skirt on, and mm -hmm. she ripped it off to yes. reveal the leather underneath. Yes. yes, the shoulders of that and the skirt of that were made of a fabric that has plastic tubes in it. Oh, um, and and it's it's a pain to work with because when you cut it, it kind of ravels. Mm -hmm. That's what this is made of. Mm -hmm. It's like a plasticky fabric that is that looks like satin, and it kind of has a stiffness to it. So that's mm -hmm. why you see the stiffness. I love this so much. And then they put an applique on top of it mm -hmm. that is the same as the bustier. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And she's always styled so and nice. I love the print of it too. It's almost like palm trees, but it's not. Yes. I like it. I like that. Yes, it's very different. It's something very, you just haven't seen. Yeah. There's your pink again. And, you know, that little and pink in there. And, 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 and I think the way you replicate this for, you know, every day is um, basically pairing things that kind of you wouldn't think of that go together. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. The the metallic mm -hmm. metallics are, are, are always in mm -hmm. um, with the pink. Like, yeah, so it's like the hard and the soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love they it. I never really think of that like the hard and the soft one. Like usually you either have on something like super girly, yeah, or, or like your mix, edgy. It, yeah, yeah, mix it up with something soft. Like you know, I would say like the equivalent to that would be like having like a sweet little cute like lacy dress on mm -hmm. and then throwing on like a leather jacket or throwing mm. on a blazer oh, okay some, throwing on some yeah, metallic something idea. that is more edgy over the soft oh i love that i, I like the that lace and leather i love yeah. that yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sexy all right let's do one more okay I mean, she's become, quickly becoming the queen of fashion. Right? Out of nowhere. Oh, I know. We did not expect it. Oh, my goodness. We did not have this on Beagle Park, but I'm so here exactly. for it. Because it's a body type that you don't specifically see mm -hmm. as a fashionista. Mm -hmm. It's my body type. That. I'm here for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they always make her girls look good. Come they always on. sit them up. They sit them up. I love this so much. I mean, I love everything. I've loved everything recently that she's worn. There's yeah. really nothing that I did. Yes, her whole color purple tour, yes. press yes. tour. Yes. She was does a styled hair, the makeup, hair. clothing. Yeah. And she showed people with a pixie cut that you can do so many yeah. things. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Because it was always styled differently. Yes, It was absolutely. always like done just to the nine. Right, so this is for the NAACP Image Awards. I just love the black and white contrast. Oh, I just love oh, it. Yeah. I will so always much. love it. I just mm -hmm. love, I will always love so that. Classic, and, then yeah. the, and then the fact that she did a very, you know, feminine lace, uh, not lace, a feminine uh, silhouette. Yeah. Uh, this, you know, very white, but dainty kind of dress mm -hmm. and then put like latex gloves on mm -hmm. and there's a giant latex yes. glove behind it. Yes. yes. That's kind of what I was talking about. Like yeah. some, it's unexpected. That's, that mm -hmm. that's there. You would have thought in the styling of this that let's put latex on top of this, you know, this gown. But yeah, this absolutely works. not. It's plunging out there. Yeah. Because without yeah. it, without it, it'd be very plain, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love it. Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love the black and white. Like they said, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. black and white. I mean, that's always a classic. Yeah, and we can do that with everything. Hey, I got on black. You have it on now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. This was. So there's a lot of different tips that we can take the red carpet yeah. to, you know, the street. So I love yeah. that. All right. So are you ready to play a little game? I am ready. Yeah. I am 
ready. I love it. Have you ever played sip or spill? So yes. either you spill the tea, okay, or you take a sip, okay, which is not really a big deal for you because you're drinking water, but it's, it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So you want to kick us off? Okay. Okay. Um. Well, we kind of already got into this one uh, a little bit, but I need you to tell me your favorite reunion dress that you've designed ever, ever, ever. ever. reunion dress. Well, it would be the yellow dress of Monique's because it started it kicked it off they it. kicked it off yeah. and I mean I, I have that dress in my possession again now and it you want to talk about heavy it mm. is heavy yeah. It's very heavy and she's a small, small, she is small, tiny girl. I was girl, surprised but how she petite kicked. she was when I met her I was like mm-hmm. oh yeah tiny. she's she a size zero yeah. and she, she carried it it's it is my favorite dress for many reasons one I, I love the, the way the dress looks obviously yeah. and, mm-hmm. and it was it's Probably one of the most edgy dresses that I've mm. done to for a reunion. Um, oh yeah, because mm. it it's, there was so much that went into this dress. She had a really tough year yeah. that last year, and she really needed to just kind of bring it. Mm. Um, oh, and she brought it that whole and she reunion. Brought it with that binder, that whole binder. Mm-hmm. Binder, mm-hmm. binder, love binder, it. And I knew the binder was coming. I read the binder book. I knew it was in the binder. <laughs> Ooh, I've seen, I've read so the, the binder, binder actually has pages. Oh, the book. binder has things that Evidence. nobody knows. Yes. Oh wow. Still don't know. Um, but she kept it cute. She did. Mm-hmm. But this dress is my favorite because um, it is. My, she's been my best friend for mm-hmm. 20, 20 something years now. Mm-hmm. She knew me before. I, like I always, I always say this. Monique is one of those people that loved me before I knew how to love myself. Oh my! And goodness. so for me to make my first look, and she be the one to push me because I was not going to do this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was the one that said to me, "Do this," and. Mm-hmm. Because of her dress, and she platformed me in a way that was mm-hmm. I could have. I mean, I could. I would have done that dress for free and for, for everything that it brought me. She didn't let me, yeah. but um, but yeah, that would be my thing. Monique so is was, amazing, yeah, woman. beautiful she's, soul, mm-hmm. honored to know her. Soul. Mm-hmm. Okay, so who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna take a sip, or are you gonna spill your tea? <laughs> Oh, Come on, Riley. Oh, uh, celebrity crush. Yeah. I have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Oh, uh, okay. As uh, she sits for you. I will, I, will, I, will, I will tell you my celebrity crush, and I will also give you a little bit of tea. Ooh. Ooh. And if you okay. know me well, you know that I do not talk she about like, people that okay. I date yeah. or yeah. people mm-hmm. or anything like that. And, and I, I'm not going to talk about anybody I date. But this is just, this is an interesting story that I don't think I've ever told anybody. Exclusive! Yeah. Yeah. So, so my celebrity crush, I would say, you guys probably wouldn't know them because they're probably like Instagram people. Okay. Um, I do like people like I love um, Mark Lamont Hill. Hmm. Why is that He's the guy from that's is he on CNN? What is he on? He's a he's chocolate, the lips, the rest. I think he's right so nice. I was just thinking just about that. Alright, our YouTube viewers, we're gonna look yeah, at him. We're, we're gonna put a picture up for you. I, do, I like it. him. Okay. I, I like him a lot. I like him because of what he stands for and what he does. Okay, okay. okay. I love that. Okay. Um I don't I don't know that I have any big celebrity crushes anybody that you that I'm just like, um oh wait. Oh no, okay. you thought of something. <laughs> No, I'm keep it to myself. Okay, okay, but I'm taking it to myself. I'm keep that to myself only okay. because like I might know them, I might meet them, and I'm like, oh. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. yeah. I will give you this tea. Okay. I will give you this tea. Mm-hmm. Um, something I did not expect because I did not expect him to be this sexy. Good job. Um, and was I never thought of him before before this? So, um, I we were talking about the VMAs. I, uh, we opened the show with Taylor Swift Mm -hmm. and then I had to go and change really fast and because we were up for several awards and we had to go get in our seats, right? And so, um, we were like walking under the stage and like all this stuff and I was waiting, they were were doing a commercial break to get to our seats and they serve drinks to all the celebrities that are sitting there. And so they were like, well, wait, we have to let the, you know, up the stairs. So you guys have to wait right here before you go to your seats. And I think Black China came down and she was like talking to me and, and um, a bunch of other people. And I'm just standing there. I'm standing there with the rest of the cast there. And then out of nowhere, French Montana comes up to me. Ah. And he's, he's like, hey, baby girl. And I was like, I was like, hi, Kareem. Like, like, yeah. and, he looked, yeah. and I just looked up at him. Not the first name. Okay. Oh, hey. And then, because I, I never met this man before in my life. I know his real name, but I never met him before. In my life. Like he smelled 
food. Mm. Good. Yeah. And he kissed me. Oh. <laughs> and he kissed me. And he, he, he was like, I do. I'm like, I'm good. And then I, the girl, all the girls beside me, they were like, do you know him? I was like, no. no. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. But I would like to. <laughs> yeah. he and he was fine. Yes, yeah. he is he very was, handsome. He was, yeah. I did not expect it at all. Mm -hmm. and, I, and every time I see him now, all I think of is the way he smelled. Mm -hmm. He smelled oh, like a man. Scent. Oh yeah. my God, mm -hmm. it was the best cologne ever. I, I don't know scent. what it was. Yeah. And then I found out later that he had taken a, I think, Patron bottle or something on stage with him. So he probably was a little tipsy when he came. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who he thought I was. He was yeah. like, hey, baby, girl, yeah. all right. And he walked right up to me like he was about to snatch my soul. Yeah. And that was like, right. I've never told that publicly. And I'm going to let you. <laughs> right, right. I love that. I love that for you. Yeah. I love you. Okay, my next question is, what is your favorite Real Housewives franchise? Out of all the franchises, you got Atlanta, Beverly Hills, Potomac, Miami. Do you watch them? And which one is your favorite? Okay. Sometimes I, um, I, or you can take a sip. No, I, I'll tell you because lately I have not been enjoying them. Same. Yeah. Um, because they have turned into something different than what they were when they first started. We were just Honestly, about yeah. I love Atlanta. Um, I have not finished the last season of Atlanta. Yeah. I didn't even watch the reunion and I made a dress for the reunion. Oh. Um, that didn't, didn't end up getting worn for just some other reasons. I mean, I still ended up. Uh, but um, you know how it's really funny to me. This is a society comment. It's so funny because everyone always types in the comments. They're like, oh, Riley, you never miss. You never miss. You never miss. Yeah. And I'm like, that's what I do. Y'all just don't ever see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's probably one of those moments. That, but I just, it has turned to something different. The two franchises that I watch right now is uh, Potomac because I'm on Potomac. Mm -hmm. um, I, well, we got one episode left, so we'll see if I'm supposed to be on that episode. We'll see if I'm on that episode. Yeah. Um, yeah. If it didn't get, get cut out, but I did make a, an outfit for um, Karen and then we filmed together too. Uh, so I watched Potomac because I know so many people and I have mm -hmm. been on Potomac a few times, um, almost every season. Mm -hmm. And um, I watched Beverly Hills. So which okay. was your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> That's your question. Oh, your favorite? Beverly Hills. Really? I'll yeah. tell you about Beverly Hills. Okay, so this is the thing. This is what has, has changed, and, and tell me if you agree or not. Um, the Housewives, what makes these shows work is conflict resolution. Yes. When they stop working is when there's no longer any resolution. Mm -hmm. We shows. don't want to see beefs that mm -hmm. last three and four seasons. Oh, my God. Tell me. And so what happens it gets boring. Is, yeah. It gets boring. And then it's also like, so we're basically watching the show that we... We're not supposed to know, but we do know. We're, you guys are paid to get up to, to film mm -hmm. together. Yeah. You would never see you hate each other. Right, mm -hmm. right. And because that's the problem. Otherwise. Yeah. That's the problem is there's no con there's conflict and no, no resolution. resolution. That's what happened to with um, Atlanta and why they're having a rebrand. Um, the wonderful thing about Beverly Hills is that they did have conflict resolution yeah. the last last few seasons. Yeah, you know, uh, especially this last season. The they I think people think. I think producers think, or maybe the housewives think, that people don't want to see people get along. We do want to see it. We do. We see it. We do. I think yes. the, only thing that all, the only thing that sells is like ratchetity or 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 so. people Co fighting. It's perception. No. Yeah. And the thing is, is like this is what you're giving them. So this is what the, they have no choice. Yeah, no yeah. choice but yeah. to watch. Right. But I think we have to get back to the to the conflict and resolution of it all. Yeah. And that's why I love Vivian's balance. Yeah. yeah. And if Potomac is not, and these are, this girl, they're, I'm friends with a lot of those girls on there. If they don't get it together, they're going to end up rebranding because then yeah. we can't recreate a show with people that hate each other that are not willing to film to together. Film right. Each other. So now it's it's becoming such a divide and also like there's too many girls that hate each other. And the storyline is just dragged out. It's like, okay, what we get line? it. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they don't like each other. Yeah. 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 In the beginning, okay. it was we like seeing these women that came from affluent backgrounds, which yeah. is and 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 King and, King and yeah, King things. and then yeah. having problems with yeah. them being making up, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what, planning events and doing like that. Same things happen with Love and Marriage DC. Like yeah. we need the resolution part, right. and there's so many if women you, like us that want to see mm -hmm. drama, but not like 
beef. She called it ratchicity. Ratchicity. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The that. light, the, yeah. it's like light shade. What yeah. happened to that? Yeah. yeah. I was like, I'm gonna go for the jugular. Yeah. I want to really like hurt you. I and talk. I'm gonna drag out your family I'm secrets like, or your everything. Everything. Yeah. Like, everything. Spread yeah. rumors. Nothing's lies, on the table. All that. Yeah. What's pro- what's happening is the cast are coming, becoming producers, mm-hmm. and the producers are are producing mm-hmm. a show. Um, I will tell you which, but one of the housewives recently said this to me. She was just like, it's becoming not fun anymore because the producers are basically playing God now. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I want to ask you, um, how do you feel about the um, the New York rebrand? Do you watch it at all? I watch it because I watched, I didn't finish it. Mm-hmm. Um, I watched it because there were two girls on there that I already knew mm. um, that I, I loved their fashionistas and one of them is an artist that I love um that was Jenna Lyons mm-hmm. and also Cy De Silva yes I've been following Cy on Same. YouTube for a long time I kind of didn't even want her to do the show because mm-hmm. I didn't want to know like she on YouTube she never showed her husband we never, never. talked about her okay. like, and then of course to be on the show she kind of had to and I love her kids I was actually watching her before I came here because mm-hmm. she put a new yeah. vlog out um I didn't want her to do it because I just felt like I like her YouTube and I feel like it just became there's too much control and then it caused people to not like her on the season yeah. and then the same thing with jenna we know jenna's quirky but i've seen jenna on everything she's interior design mm-hmm. she's all the she's so much more they don't show those things on shows anymore. yeah like mm-hmm. they don't show if you're on one of the housewife shows they used to show so much of your businesses and all the stuff and that's the only reason to there's do no a, a reality show yeah. that you're going to promote. exactly the only reason that you should do a reality show is if you're going to promote a business yeah it, and they're going to show your business and show those things if they're not, and you're just on there just to be be famous yeah, and stuff, it's yeah. not a lot. Or to find a husband. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we got husbands, yeah. but just not from there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I'm gonna say that right. 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 Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, who is your favorite housewife? Oh, I already know this. I one. feel like I, I feel like yeah. I, say, I feel like I know too. Current housewife? We can say ever because well, if we say ever, oh, we say ever know. and current. Yeah, ever and current. Okay, who do you think? Ever is Monique. I would okay. say Monique. Yes. Okay. What yeah. about Honor? current? Yes. What about current? Current? Oh. Well, we don't know who's current in, in uh, Atlanta right now. We don't. We don't know who's current in Atlanta. No. And Candy's a, a client and now friend. Mm-hmm. Um, I always loved her. I always loved Candy because Candy was always, she she was so well-rounded. Yes. And so much, like she just, you know, she was amazing. Yeah. Um, but she also annoyed me. I'm trying not to pick any of my friends. That's the, the, oh, the thing. Oh, okay. Um, you, you could take a step. And a step no, step. no, I, I'm, I, I'm Trish. It's so game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love my Karen. And I know she's going through a tough time I right now. I Karen too. Yeah. And I talked to her the other day, but I, yeah. I, I'm glad she's okay. But I, I love. And she's doing well. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I talked to her, uh, day before yesterday. Mm-hmm. And, um, and it was simple. It was just as simple as like, I love you. I'm yeah, happy. yeah. I'm glad yeah. you're okay. Um, I just love her because you can see the difference from season one. Yeah. Being so buttoned up and trying to be so like, mm-hmm. you know, oh, to just let yeah. it go and yeah. just being yeah. herself. I love that. Oh, I have so many favorites though because I just yeah. thought about I love Lisa. Her testimonials are hilarious too. They all They're, over read. Yeah, oh, she reads. But oh, I love so I love me some Erica Jane. Oh, okay. Yeah, Erica Jane is sharp too. She's I saw her at a concert and I just love mm-hmm. Miss America Jane. Mm-hmm. Uh, She's do. a true performer too. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love a lot of them yeah. for different reasons, but favorite is. I, I'm going to sit for now on, I would say, Karen. Okay, that's fair. Okay, off of the reality show. Yes. Uh, which, well, this could be a reality show. Okay. What was the worst date you've ever been on? Worst date? Yeah. <sighs> the worst date I ever went on didn't even make it to a date. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's right. It started it and, and ended no time. five minutes later. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, <sighs> I, if you follow me on YouTube, then you've, you've heard the story already. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've had a few, but but uh, <laughs> oh, I can't like the few just came into my head. <laughs> yeah, she was, was, the one I'm gonna tell you was scary, but I also think about like weird things that have happened with like about guys and mm-hmm. like strange things, like and I'm sitting there trying to like yeah keep it mm-hmm. together. But okay, so this one was this was scary, but it was it is the worst, mm-hmm. and I talk about it. Um, I made the mistake of letting a guy pick me up mm-hmm. on the first date. Which I always recommend to never do Don't because of this story. Yeah, meet him there, and you meet him there, and you never let him drop you off because uh, he doesn't need to know where you live until right. like you're you feel safe. Um, I had been talking to this guy for a few weeks, and 
Um, we had a date planned and he had to cancel because of business purposes. He seemed so great. He, he was awesome, right? Um, and then he was like, you know what? I'm sorry that I canceled, but like, you want to just meet for a drink really quick? Cause I know it's like kind of late. It was like maybe like nine or 10, right? Mm -hmm. And I, <laughs> I said, sure. He's like, I'll pick you up. He's like, well, we'll just go somewhere that's close to where you live. I said, okay, cool. We'll just go to a bar or something, right? Um, and he picked me up in his Tesla. Mm -hmm. That'll come to play in just a second. Um, he picked me up in his Tesla. He's out of the car, and I think he's coming to open the door. And he comes to um, hug me, and he picks me up by my grabs him by my butt and picks what? me up. He reaches inside my jacket, it was winter time, inside my coat and picks me up. And I was like, whoa, what are you doing? Now mind you, this guy was 6'8". Oh my oh, goodness. Oh wow. Right? I'm a, I mean, if you ever met me in person, I'm not that tall. Yeah. I think I'm tall. Yeah. I'm only 5'6". Yeah. 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 Um, he picks me up and I was like, what are you doing? He said, oh, I'm just showing you some love, whatever, you know, whatever. He opens the door and I'm thinking, something seems off. Because right. he seems so buttoned up, like while we talk. He, this man has like sweatpants, like gray sweatpants and like a fatigue jacket. And like very like, it not didn't look like he was going on a on a first date. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my god, what is happening here? And I'm thinking, okay, I'm about to get in the car with this guy. Don't put on your seatbelt because you might have to get out of the car. Also, he's in a Tesla. If you've ridden in a Tesla, they don't open the same way that regular doors. Yeah, right. you have to press a button and wait for it. But you can't just yeah. get out of the car right. really fast. Right. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna have to get out of this car. But I'm like, what's going on? Um, and so. Um, but he looks at me and he's like, Duh, do you know like a park or something we can go to? I said, a park? It's 10 o'clock at night. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, uh, he's like, uh, you want to come sit over here? Like right here. I'm like, and I was like, no. there's a no. room for me over there. Please. I said, are you drunk? Yeah. And he said, no. I was like, okay. Yeah. And then uh, he pulls to my, my driveway. It's a circular driveway. And he mm -hmm. pulls to the edge of it. Thank God I didn't let him pull out of the driveway because we probably would be having this conversation right now. He, um, this is so heavy for this. No, is, but right. I'm sorry. Right. Oh, I'm I'm right. Right. So he's at the edge of my driveway and the car is still in drive and there's a sidewalk right there. And so he reaches into his pants and pulls out and exposes oh. himself. Yeah. And he's like, we haven't even left the driveway yet. I don't even know you. Right? <laughs> Let's start with that. Let's start with oh, the fact that you just shit. and my listen. The first my first no was to not let him pick me up, right? But then he picked me up, and then he actually grabbed my butt and picked me up. Yeah, I should. That was my first. Yeah, that was the second. Yeah, that, that was God telling me. You know, I always say, you know, like Oprah says, you get a pebble thrown at you, and then mm -hmm. you get a brick, and then you get a brick wall tumbling down mm -hmm. on you. That was my whisper, mm -hmm. my pebble. That was all of those things, and. It was just, the the vibe was so weird. It was just sort of like, I should have listened to my intuition. Mm -hmm. So he pulls, pulls it out. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. stuff? And I'm, he's, he's just like, what? Why don't, don't you come over here? And like, and I'm just like, and I pressed the button with eyes. I think I might have left the door open. Yeah. Because I ran so fast. I got to, I got inside my, I don't know how I got in my building so quick. And my concierge looked at me. He's like, Riley, you okay? I must have been like, why does it go? He goes, he goes, he goes, are you okay? And I was just, I was like, huh? I get upstairs and I like, I get on the elevator and I call my best friend Isis and I, and I burst into tears. Yeah. And then this guy, he calls me and he's, he's, he's like, uh, he's like, I mean, I'm saying like, I'm good looking dude, you're good looking bride. Why would you want to? Um, like wow. and he yells at me and it, it 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 sends a shock through me. I'm like, this man would have raped and killed me. Yeah, yeah. yes, and that is the worst date I've ever been. Absolutely, and it didn't even happen. But like, yeah, so that was it was wow. bad. Happy and, and you was escaped. Oh, exactly. so happy. Oh, no. Here's the thing. From now on, if I have never met you before, the first date, if this is the first date, you will never pick me up. Also, this guy knows where I live mm -hmm. now. But you have a concierge, you have you security can't, coming yes, up to your building. You can't even get so. up to, yeah, yeah you can't even know where exactly. Mm -hmm. But, but you have to be down outside. means don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Down means don't. And I should have listened to my well, look, I love that. Down means don't. Yeah, That's when he good. grabbed me the first time, and that is not, that you already sexually harassed me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That is true. Woo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo. Tell me about a, a, a lighthearted one next. Okay. <laughs> oh, what is your toxic trait? <laughs> your toxic trait? In a relationship or just in, in life? General, in, in general. In general. Toxic? 
<laughs> I'm not gonna say it, but because my friends are gonna like. Okay, but I'm this. I don't know, this is a tr- this is a trait or just a bad habit. Um. Um. um go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> spin. This is a bad habit, is what this is. Okay. Um, and only people really close to me would be able to attest to this firsthand. Okay. That would be like Richie Sky, who's my best oh, friend. Oh, we know mm-hmm. and, and ISIS. And my sisters. Mm-hmm. And every guy I've ever dated. <laughs> <laughs> bad habit. I... To the point where I don't even realize I'm doing it. Yeah. And it just... Ha- like, it's so bad. I make up nasty, disgusting, ridiculous, horrible, and they rhyme songs that are just insane i I want to hear one so bad you can't please (laughs) please (laughs) luke him um and uh meg the stallion and carnaby kaya all it would make all of them look like they they would blush here's what's crazy here's what's crazy here's what's crazy i don't realize i'm doing it anymore and it, it will happen just when i'm comfortable around somebody i just be like singing or something because i sing all the time yeah right and so i'll be singing something like Riley. I'm like, oh, so it'd just be freestyling. Yes, yeah. freestyle. Yeah. Oh, I can freestyle is. like you would not believe. Ooh, oh, and the camera's cut. I'm not the cut. No, the camera's cut. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. So when I was like 29 years old, I was seeing this guy named Sean, and he met my sister Sean, mm-hmm. and he says to her, he's like, he's like, Sean, you won't believe the song she makes up. And she's like, please, she's been doing that since we were like eight years old. <laughs> I've been doing this since we were kids. Wow. I, I used to get in trouble for it. Yeah. Oh. yeah, and now it has gotten worse as I've got, because now they rhyme worse and I know a lot more words than I yeah, did. Right. Okay. And they are nasty and it's bad. It's a horrible habit and I can't shake. When I am comfortable around someone, it just starts happening. And, the, and okay. some people think it's funny. Yeah. yeah. And then some people are like, Isis thinks it's ridiculous. She's like, she's like, Okay, I'm getting off the phone. Oh, yeah. I love it. When the camera's cut, we got an assignment because I got bars too. I got bars. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm so ready. It's like songwriting in the future out here. Right. Are you like a ghostwriter for somebody? Nope. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Right. Uh, uh, ghostwriting for porn, maybe? But that's <laughs> so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> I don't even know so if that constitutes a toxic trait or just a really bad habit. I did not expect you to say no, that. No, I don't. Uh, I've never said about it. Wow. Yeah, but I love it. I am here. It makes I me have, love you even I more. Wanted, I want you to record okay. it. <laughs> I have recorded before. Oh, I recorded voice notes and sent them to my sisters, and they're just like, you nasty. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, my next question um, What is one thing that your mom doesn't know about you? <laughs> <laughs> So many things. Okay, so many things. Only because I don't know if you guys know. So my mom didn't raise me. Mm-hmm. I was raised by my grandmother. Okay. Um, but um, my mom. One thing my mom doesn't know about me. I mean, all the salacious, like all the. My mom. Okay, so here's the thing. Even when I've. My mom doesn't ask me a lot of questions about dating. Mm-hmm. Um, she will let me just tell her if mm-hmm. I'm going to tell her um and so even when I've dated someone who uh is also in the public eye um my mother will read it and just she'll ask me to confirm if it's true or if it's in the media or something like that or, or she'll in, a, in her own way like she'll be like oh I heard that blah 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 and I'm just like that's not true blah blah yeah. this will happen whatever um she does not she does not know the specifics i guess of those relationships of any of my relationships only because like she's she respect my and it's probably a good thing because my mom my mom is is not someone that will she will run into people that are fans of mine and she is very protective of what she tells them mm. Um, and as all of my friends are. Yeah. Um, and so I guess it's a good thing that she doesn't really know a lot mm-hmm. uh, because she, she can't accidentally spill some tea. But she is, yeah, I would say that would probably be the thing that she doesn't know a lot. She she will only ask if she heard something, if it's been someone. I mean, I've dated guys in the public eye, so not every guy I've dated was in the public eye. Right. Um, but if I'll say, like, oh, I'm going about to like do so and so, she'll say, who's that? I was like, the person I'm dating, and she's just like, "Oh, okay, where'd you yeah. meet him?" 
like mm-hmm. something like that. And then yeah. it's just it's just a passing thing. Okay. And I think it's because until I'm ready to say I'm marrying yeah. this person, yeah. she's she not going to be yeah. no, mm-hmm. yeah. not going to be super invested in it. Like until it's she realized mm-hmm. that it's actually something serious. That's what my dad is. My dad was like, I don't really want to know the boyfriends and all the details. I mean, he, when there's mm-hmm. someone that wants your mm-hmm. hand in marriage, mm-hmm. I want to know that Absolutely. person. You know what I mean? A lot of my friends are yeah. like that too. Yeah, they're like, yeah. and Monique will say to me, yeah. "Monique is the worst. <laughs> she's the worst." Don't bring him around me unless he's ready for this for, for to, to keep yeah, it real. Yeah, because I'm gonna really. And every guy I've ever brought around her, yeah. she's she will tell tell me even after like I don't like him, <laughs> or like she'll 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 they'll try to like playfully. She's like, okay, you're not trying to answer my question, but I'm still gonna ask it. Right. Mm-hmm. She right. does not play when it comes to me. Yeah. Do not bring somebody around me yeah. because my my friends are like my family. I'm yeah. closer to my friends than I am a lot of than mm-hmm. my family. Your chosen family. Yes. And they they know everything about me. Mm-hmm. And they are super protective. They also know my dating history. And mm-hmm. so they are super protective and they do not play. Monique is the worst. Mm-hmm. I, I will let I'll let Richie and Isis meet somebody before I let Monique. She's the last. <laughs> I, I, won't let somebody, there I won't let Monique meet somebody until I'm ready to like it's legit and yeah, I'm ready yeah. to I'm gonna marry this guy. Yeah, yeah. She like, definitely has that mama. She yeah. says to me, don't bring him around me unless he's ready to get grilled. Do you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> do you warn him and be like, hey, go I ahead. tell them all okay, the time. Okay. Monique is the friend. They're yeah. like, oh girl, that's on the house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 No, you don't see it She's the worst. Um, what time. is your uh, your go to beauty hack? You are told us about the gloves. We've heard about the We've heard about cool, but like, what is your go to beauty hack? Like, beauty hack. Mm-hmm. I have a, I have a couple. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll give you one fashion and one beauty. Okay. Um, makeup would be. Um, and I think people know about this now, but I learned this from drag queens. Um, but I think, well, I don't know if people know it or not, actually. Mm-hmm. I learned this from drag queens, um, and I learned this from also from being on stage. Um, I have maybe two two to three minutes to change on mm-hmm. stage, so I have to apply this on stage because I don't have time to touch on my makeup. Um, I spray hairspray on my makeup, mm-hmm. uh, and I mean douse myself in hairspray. Oh, wow, okay. And while I'm sweating on stage, it never moves. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, it never... And it's funny because now people are making setting sprays that are modeled after hairspray. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Patrick yeah. Star made yeah. one yeah. because it is an old drag queen's trick. Yeah. They'd spray like the gas to be glued yeah. on their face. Oh, wow. And That stuff can get hard. Well, I mean, I have it on right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, if, if I'm sweating, it will not move. And yeah. in fact, it's kind of like I have to really wipe to get it off. Yeah. Um, but I don't touch up anything if I'm on stage when I'm in the quick change booth. Mm-hmm. I only touch up my lips because okay. they, they touch up my clone a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it's hairspray over the face. And then on a daily basis, I'll use a lighter hairspray mm-hmm. over the makeup and it literally keeps it. You could sweat through it. And, and does it transfer? It, to oh, it keeps your makeup from transferring onto people. Yeah. Men love issue. that. Oh. Yeah. Men love that. I've had my whole day on the clutch. Clutch. Sorry, I've had clutch. Clutch. Men love yeah. that because it's not on their collar. Yeah, it's not yeah, the, yeah. Um, and it's it, humidity with mm-hmm. the summer coming up. It's it's amazing. Yeah, and it's and it so funny. Break you out or it does like it's just going right on your makeup. I would do it every single day. Yeah. Um, but I for special occasions and you mm-hmm. really want to be yeah. set. It sets your powder. Like I would do your regular setting spray, but then spray with. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. My fashion hat. Yeah. For me, my favorite thing to do. This mm-hmm. is my favorite thing. Oh my god, I love going to thrift stores and going in the men's section mm-hmm. and getting men's suits and tailoring them to my body. Oh, that's a good idea, though. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, I, I, that's cute. Yeah, I, I will go and buy a men's suit. In fact, if you if you see the, the upcoming episode of Real Housewives of Potomac, I wore a men's suit um, to lunch with Karen. Uh, it's a men's suit. And I put like a crop top or something with it. Um, and I just tailored it down to my body. I've also bought men's suiting. Mm-hmm. Um, and because I like an oversized kind yeah. of yeah. aesthetic, but yeah. also like snatch at the waist. Mm-hmm. And luckily, because I'm a designer, I can tailor yeah. myself. Yeah. But you can just take it to your tailor and have yeah. the pants and up. I like them a little bit baggier. Not like not a fitted suit. Like yeah. if you're going to do that whole like oversized look. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love Kind of give me like 80s a little bit. I love yeah. going to thrift stores mm-hmm. and buying old men who have died. <laughs> They're kind of, I know I got some old okay. men, <laughs> some dead people's yeah. clothes on, yeah. and they're, you know, because right, they don't need it. <laughs> the family donated all their clothes after yeah. they died. Mm-hmm. But I love going into the to the men's section at the thrift store and 
do yeah. that. Oh, this is a this is great. Oh, this, this yeah. is really good. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you know how you like to zhuzh your sleeves up, sort of like yeah. I have right now. Yeah. I have an elastic band oh, wow. around. It's like just a piece of elastic. I used to use that. Just put it here and then pull it up. Yeah. And cover it over. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's that. a good idea. And it keeps your sleeves up, keeps them sliding down. Oh, oh that's perfect. I didn't you, can that. yeah. Yeah. you can use a hairband. Yeah. You can use a hairband, but this is just a, this hurts less because a hairband is yeah. yeah. a little wider. It's a little wider. It's just a piece of elastic and it yeah. keeps it right up. So you don't. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, really like that. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, oh I think this is great. This was great. Oh, okay. So tell everybody how they can find you, how they can get in touch with you, or what else you have going on. You can out. find me on everything social media, Riley Knox. Mm-hmm. Or the beat. Two X's. Two X's. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that's that's so funny because people always think that's the made-up name. Mm-hmm. They're just like, oh, it's your stage. I'm like, no, that's my real life name. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Riley Locks, two X's. Um, on everything, Instagram, TikTok, uh, uh, YouTube especially. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm a little more personal on YouTube. Instagram, mm-hmm. you'll only see what's promoting work. Okay. Um, and coming up, I have sort of like a, a summer tour coming up. Mm-hmm. I, I am... That's why I've been in the gym so hard lately. You I, have been in the gym. I have, I have, but it's it's not about the look. It's for me to be able to to be on stage. Yeah, been on stage enough. in a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been on stage since November. So um, I have uh, Charlotte, um, Pittsburgh, uh, Kalamazoo, um, and New York um, all coming up. I will just look on my social media. I'll show you. The, mm-hmm. I'll put. You know, I'll post about it. But that's what I have coming up. Um, and then I'm going to take a nice little vacation. I know. It's nice. Like, oh, I want to see that. Yeah. I want to see that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. were there for eight days and then we went to Athens for yeah. two. I deserve it. I haven't had one of those. Oh, yes. I've had one since, I think, 2001. Oh, no. Really? See, see, this is the problem. Yeah. I, I've been everywhere. I've been a lot of places, right? Yeah. Um, but most of them I've only seen from the plane yeah. you know as we're landing or on the way to sound check and then yeah. off to the next thing yeah um but traveling for my newest thing so for this leisure. this yeah. is as i know we're wrapping up but this is my my newest thing i'm not focused right now on my career i'm focused mm-hmm. on my actual life now obviously i have to work and i yeah. love my career all that but my my biggest thing right now my biggest focus is my actual life yeah yeah i've watched all my friends get married and buy houses and have kids and get divorced and mm-hmm. do all like li- and travel leisurely and all this mm-hmm. stuff and i'm I, I was working 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 and traveling and working and tra- only traveling for work and so now that's why i've got back into my art mm-hmm. because i'm that art and travel and mm-hmm. really living my life as mm-hmm. opposed to just always performing and looking back and having no memories so, yeah going back to one i yeah. love that i, was, I mean I'm, I'm not quitting my job of course, course. of course mm-hmm. but it's not my focus yeah i love that for you it's balance. balance yeah, yeah. Well, I, mean, I'm, I got a birthday coming up I'm about, I'm about, so I, I mean I, when is your birthday april 24th so this year it'll be 4 24 24. oh i love that Four, 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 four. yeah okay. i mean i wanted it i wanted to have a show on my birthday yeah. Yeah. but we haven't booked it fast enough so Mm-hmm. So I won't be working on my birthday like I want it, but it, okay. but I Oh you want it to work. I want no, I wanted to do I wanted oh, to do oh. my twentieth year yeah. anniversary, twenty years of doing Beyonce. Huh. I wanted to do it on, on four twenty four. And you know she loves a four. Yeah. <laughs> well my, my numbers are, are, are seven twenty four. So what? um four twenty four twenty four is my birthday and I so I might do that, but it's oh, not all right. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay, it's, it's not happening, something else will happen. But yeah. um but yeah, so okay, that's incredible. Love so, it. Yeah, I mean, that's why I turned forty-two on four twenty-four. So that was that was the same age. That was um, definitely where right. yeah. 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 yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.